hello welcome to my channel m rosie here if this is your first time of clicking on my video you are welcome if you've been watching my videos that means you know me very well today 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 let me adjust this thing today i want to talk to us about a magical 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 herbs very very magical and very important um the herb i want to talk to you guys about is cloves c-l-o-v-e-s cloves is a herb from indonesia very magical you can cook with it you can use it for all sorts when you cook with cloves should I just show you first before I start talking? I have passion about this. I'm passionate about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I've been using cloves for, I think, for two years now. Two, three years I've been cooking with cloves. You see? And it's really, really good. It's a very good herbs for you. This is cloves essential oil. You see? I will tell you how to use this later. Cloves essential oil. Then I've got the cloves here. I don't know how I'm going to show it to you guys so that you will see. But I'll put the photo up later. These are cloves. These tiny little things are cloves. You see? They are flowers of, I think, a certain tree. I don't know what the tree is called because nobody has mentioned what it is. But cloves is a flower dried you see <clears throat> excuse me so you can these are the things you can use cloves for first of all you can use cloves to cook and when you use it to cook it's good for your body and apart from being good for your body spiritually it raises your vibrational frequency it does if you are vibrating on a low frequency it could help you and to <clears throat> excuse me to raise your vibrational uh, frequency you still need to change your ways your attitude you need to change it while using this and it brings your level higher if you are on a lower one it might take you from lower to medium or high which is the best places to be you see um so uh, you can use cloves to cook to do that and when you um ingest cloves let's say you cook with it all the time it will help you to remove spells whatever spell anybody does it might not even touch you believe it or not this is a magical magical herbs and remember herbs are from plants from trees and who created plants and trees? God. God Almighty gave us all these things to take care of ourselves here on earth. So, um, it you could actually use it to get rid of spell. There are other ways to use it to get rid of spell, juju, voodoo, and all those things. There are other ways. But when you eat it, it actually helps you because what it does is it raises your vibrational frequency so if you are vibrating on a medium vibration uh, a medium frequency anybody or anything on a low or lower uh, frequency can't touch you whatever they do to you will never get to you and if you get to like a medium like a high uh, vibra vibrational frequency Anyone on a lower, low, or medium uh, frequency can't touch you. And once you're on a high frequency, nobody can touch you because that is it. You are there. Where you are heading to now will be the highest. Because from high, high, you go to higher and you go to highest. I told you guys that I have passion for this herb. You understand? So, once you get to a high level of vibration... Once your frequency gets there, mm -mm, nothing can touch you. Whatever they throw at you will never touch you. You see? 
once you are there all you have to do there's no need doing no back to sender blah, 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 blah. whoever is doing anything to you won't touch you even when you're on a medium uh, 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 frequency all you have to do is to always extend god's unconditional love to your enemies extend your god's unconditional love to them that way they won't get to you so this herb is very magical it's very very important and another thing it does it protects you you can use it for protection by the way it's, it's the same thing as when you, you 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 ingest it in food and it raises your vibration it protects you nothing can touch you once you get to a high frequency nothing from the lowest lower low or medium frequency can touch you because nobody on a high frequency does bad once you get to that high a high vibrational frequency you are in the light you are covered by the light of god you are covered by the light of our lord jesus christ you are covered by the light of the holy spirit i am telling you this yeah that is it then you are protected that's why it's a magical herb and it protects you it does protect you so that is the way it protects you as a person so now the next thing i'm going to tell you is to how to use it to clear your space to keep your environment on that level that you are in you understand once you get to that high level of vibrational frequency you need to keep your space in the same level because when you are high there you are now in the light your space should be in the light as well so to get rid of all those lowest lower low energy or medium energy that are roaming about inside your home that you can't see because believe it or not they are there it's not just something that somebody does to you it's something there are so many things so many entities so many all sorts all sorts moving around so what you have to do with this club is some people what they do is um you can kind of grind take three cloves grind it and after grinding it you get yourself a white candle you see get yourself a white candle so you can um kind of use probably the um you can use this one if you don't want to use grind that one and use it you can use the oil you see but if you still want to if you rub this oil on the candle you can still take some of these cloves and you want that the three that you grinded because that makes it three number three is important in the spirit world i said it in my other video so apart from using the oil just take a, a little bit of the oil and rub it on this candle that you want to use then you the three cloves that you grinded rub it around the candle you see rub it around the candle then make your intention what you want to do you're clearing your space you are sending away all negative energy around you you are removing everything, every spell, every juju, every voodoo, every whatever flying from anywhere. Whatever entity is in your place, you're sending them away. Anything that's not from God, anything that's not from our Lord Jesus Christ, anything that's not from the Holy Spirit or our angels, you see, you are sending them away. So you have to make your intention while you are burning that candle. Put it on a candle stand or you get yourself um, a glass bowl. Glass bowl, not a saucer. Glass bowl so that in case if the candle falls, when you're, you're not seeing it and it falls, you don't burn your home. Get yourself a candle stand or a glass bowl and put it in the middle. Let it burn till the end. You see, let it burn to the end. So when you've burnt it to the end, that is it. You've cleared your space with your intention, with your prayer. You've cleared your space. And another way of doing it is if you don't want to burn any candle, get yourself 
a lemon a lemon or an orange or uh, what's it called you can use tangerine as well orange lemon tangerine you can use them so what you do is you you cut open like a square on the orange or lemon or whatever cut open a square then when you cut it open you now take three cloves three remember three you take three cloves and you push it into this into the lemon or into the orange just push it in without covering it back when you push it in the three push them into different parts of the lemon or the orange or whatever then you get yourself a saucer you get yourself a saucer and put it um put it in the saucer and put it on your center table your center table in your living room you see put it there and leave it <clears throat> this um because the clove cloves has the the, the smell the, the the aroma is so great it's really nice and when it mixes with um with the lemon or the orange or whatever it will the smell will go all over your home all over your home and it will smell good and that way it will send away all the things that you don't want because there are people who don't like to burn candles you know so you can do it that way this is just fruit i'm not teaching you uh, something bad or negative so this is it fruit from god food because we even eat we use this oranges you use them it depends on what you want lemon orange tangerine that's fine it's just the smell you want the smell to mix with that uh, uh, um what's it called with the um, cloves you see and if you want it to really 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 smell good crush the cloves you know crush them grind them you can't use the blender because i've tried to blend it with the blender it didn't work well it didn't really do well so you can just grind it put it in something and beat it if you uh, if you have this small mortar that they sell you can use it to pound it so you can pound the three cloves and push them into your lemon or orange into that space you cut and just throw away the, the cover don't don't cover it back or you can keep the cover in the in the sauce as well you can rub that cover with cloves and just keep it inside the sauce as well so you leave this for three days you leave it for three days on your center table leave it there and the smell will go all over all over uh, by the third day if it, if it still has the smell the great smell you can leave it for another two days that's five days or even seven days it depends on uh, when you lose the, the smell from it then you cannot take it and throw it away you see throw it in your bin and make sure you take the bin away from inside your home because you can't gather all this negative energy because it will absorb absorb all the energy and it will be inside so when you want to throw it away make sure you're wearing a glove wear a glove on your hands on your hands on your fingers wear gloves so you wear gloves you pick it up you put it in the bin and you go and put the bin out if your bin is not ready to go out let's say you don't have any bin nothing in the bin you can still wrap it in a small um nylon bag and go and put it in the bin outside throw it away throw it away because it will contain all the energy that it absorbs throw it away if you don't want to throw it away if you have a garden or if you have somewhere you can dig up and put it better because mother earth mother earth will transmute all that negative energy into good energy and send it where it's needed so that way you remove the negative energy from your house you bury it the mother earth will now transmute the negative energy into positive energy and we send it where it's needed that way you've helped somebody somewhere 
You see, maybe you have a sick person or somebody who is down, somebody who has an addiction. That's where Mother Earth will send the energy. You see? So you can do that if you don't like burning candles. But if it's candle you use, still make sure that the wax, the wax on the candle, you gather it up into a nylon and go and throw it outside in the bin. You see? That way you've cleansed cleanse your home with clothes clothes is very very important it is very good there are so many things they use it to do which i don't like to get into that what i'm talking about is the positive part of it some people use it for negative things you know and that is the way with everything in the world with everything there are bad people who use them for negative stuff you see but we have to keep to the positive stuff because this time we are with god almighty we are in the light so we have to follow that so that's what you do with that then if you have a diffuser at home you have a diffuser if you don't have you can get one from amazon they sell them they even have the ones with remote control I am yet to buy mine. I've put it in my basket in Amazon, but I keep leaving. It's been there for a long time. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. And I still haven't, you see, because normally I like using things fresh. Cook with it and use it around the house for something else, you know. So get yourself a diffuser, which is what I'm going to do. You see, I have this oil, but I don't use it with diffuser, but it's very, very good. If you get yourself a diffuser, one of those that um, is remote control so that you can sit anywhere and control it. So instead of getting up to turn it off, turn it on, you use the remote. So when you get yourself a diffuser, you can just pour this oil into it. Some of the diffusers, you, they, you have to put water, then you put the oil. Some of them, you just put the oil direct. You can use this cloves oil like that. So why I say get yourself the one with a remote is that when the small the smell you put it in the diffuser you plug it into the socket the electric socket when the smell is strong in your home you can just sit wherever you are and turn it off with the remote instead of getting up to go there to turn it off and when you want to turn it on again you can you can just do that like once a day you see so it is very good. It's very good for protection. It's very good to remove spells, to remove voodoo, to remove juju, to remove all those hex that people put on you. And believe it or not, you don't have to offend anybody before they start planning evil on you. You see? You don't have to offend anybody. And when you cook with cloves, Evil eyes will not see you. I am telling you this. Cloves is a very, very, very magical, magical flower. It's a flower of a tree. These cloves, you see, I'll put the photo there for you to see. You see, it is dried, dried flower. And it's really, really good. And one thing I do again is because I love, there's this sangria wine from Spain. And they always have it in plastic bottle. I think it's like one liter. I do get it from either Sainsbury's or Max and Spencer. Or where else did I get it? I think once I got it from Tesco. You see? So whatever bottle of wine you have, red wine. Red wine is good for you. As long as you don't overdo it. You see? A glass of red wine once a week, twice a week is not bad. It has nothing to do. It's nothing against God. God doesn't say, don't drink wine or don't do this. What you shouldn't do is get drunk. You understand? So if you get your bottle of wine, you open it up and you pick maybe three. It depends on, on how big your bottle If it's like one liter, I put three of these cloves in it. I open it, I drop it in, then I you know, close it back. Make sure it's one of those wine bottles that you can just open and close back. If you buy those ones that you just pull out the, the, the cork and you can't close it back well, there's no way of, no way you can keep it for the cloves to kind of marinate into the wine. 
So I love that Sangria wine, the one in plastic bottle. It's not expensive. It's about two pounds. Uh, we used to buy it for two pounds fifty, but now it's like two pounds seventy-five in Sainsbury's, in M and S, and all those. We can't get it anywhere. Can get any kind of wine, but that's the type of wine I love. You understand? So I put uh, three cloves in it, and I close it back and keep it. I keep it for like three days. Still, the number three. I told you guys in my other video that I use three a lot. You know, so I keep it for three days, and by the time you pour a glass of that wine oh my goodness the smell the aroma the taste oh my god you will love it that's another way of ingesting clothes in that way you are protecting yourself you are raising your vibrational frequency you see and when your frequency is high you are untouchable they nothing they can touch you you see they will be looking at you up there they can touch you but but <laughs> i just want to let you know that when you raise your vibration when you raise your vibration you are going to lose friends you are going to lose friends i'm telling you because those of your friends who are not vibrating on the same level with you will drop you. And you, you won't even be interested in, in being friends with them anymore. All you'll be doing is, hello, how are you? Is everything okay? And that's it. You won't be interested in anything because your vibration is different. They are not on the same level. That level of vibration, they are not. You are in the light, you see. People on medium are halfway in the light, halfway down there. But to get to God, to be with God, you, it's not just using clothes. You still need to change your ways. You need to love others the way you love yourself. You need to be kind. You need to, be, to have compassion for people. You need to have empathy. You need to, you need to have a conscience. You see, you need to be good to people. You need to know that we all are created in the image of god so you don't look down on anybody you see you don't look down on anybody you look at everybody as equal as you are there's nothing like oh uh, i'm this i'm that and that person hasn't got this that person hasn't got that you by then you'll be looking at people just the way you look at yourself so what you can do to yourself you will not do to that person that is the way if you don't change your ways your attitude your behavior, there's no amount of clothes that you ingest that will get you to that high level of vibration. So for you to get to that high level of vibration, work on yourself. Work on yourself. And it has to do with uh, minds. When your mind is filled with all sorts, all dirty stuff, all negative stuff, so many things, you need to filter your mind. When you filter your mind and remove all those things, then you are on the right path. You see, you have to. So if you want to know how to filter your mind, I have a video there. Watch my videos. I've done a video on how to filter your mind and a detailed mind, what to do. So that is it. And um, what else have I got to say? Those are the ways you can use clothes. They are magical, spiritual herb, you see. Very good herb, you see. So choose the way you want to use it. Whether you're going to buy a diffuser or you're going to use um, uh, uh, fruits like orange, lemon or tangerine or whatever. It depends on the smell of something, what you like. That's what you're going to use. Or you cook with it. Whatever you are cooking, take three and drop it into your pot. You see, it doesn't kill anybody. Instead, it will do you good. You see, it will cleanse you from the inside. It will cleanse you from the inside. And when clothes cleanses you from the inside and your vibrate, it raises your vibrational frequency. My goodness, the, the, the favor of God is... 
unlimited that is favor wherever you go you radiate this how do i put it people look at you and they're like wow this person so you get favor from people you get favor from wherever you go the favor of god the grace of god will be with you because the important thing is for you to be vibrating on a high frequency you see because we all we vibrate on a certain uh, frequency that is it we all are energy if you can see energy you will know that we all are energy so that is it choose which way you want to use clothes on the screen i'm going to put um some write-ups on how you use them i'm going to put the write-ups there whatever whichever you want choose it i'll put it up there for you and i'll put the photo of clothes you can get clothes to buy from holland and barracks if you're in the uk you can get clothes to buy from amazon from wherever you are in the world just search for clothes c-l-o-v-e-s and you will see it there um it doesn't cost an arm and a leg so it's affordable you can afford it i love it to be honest with you guys i love it from when i discovered it oh it makes me happy makes me happy so that is it god almighty created us god created plant trees flowers all those things animals god created all and for people to think that herbs are bad for people to think that plants are bad for people to think that things that god gave us are bad that is wrong plants are not bad animals are not bad uh, trees are not bad you see it's just the people it's the people using it they use it for something bad then you now say oh it's bad no it's not bad is that human being who has an evil mind that is using it for something else for something evil that's the person you're supposed to call evil not the herbs not the plants not the animals people use them it's just the way people say oh money is evil no Money is not evil. Money is good. Money serves, God, serves us. Money makes our lives easy. It makes our lives happy. It makes When you have money, you feel happy because you can do anything you want. Whatever you like, you can do it with money, including help, helping other people. It makes us happy. So it's the people who are hungry for money who do all evil sorts to get money that are evil, not money. Money is a great thing. Money brings joy, it brings happiness, you see. So all these things are given to us by God, but there, there are some human beings, some evil-minded people who use them for evil. Do you understand? There are people who use them for evil. So, and it's left between them and God. If you try... To win their soul for God and they don't agree, leave them. One day the Holy Spirit will arrest them. And when the Holy Spirit does, they have no choice than to follow the right path. You can just try your best. You initiate the a, a plucking of soul from the devil to bring to God. You initiate it. And if that person or if the people refuse, You've said a lot about God. You've, you've preached to them. You've told them how good God is, how good Christ is, how it's important to have God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit in their lives, and they refuse. You have already initiated that good deed of plucking their soul. So wherever you stopped, the Holy Spirit will take over. Believe it or not, the Holy Spirit will take over from where you stopped. And they will have no choice when the Holy Spirit arrests them. They will have no choice but to follow the right path. That is it. Don't feel discouraged when you try to bring somebody to God and that person doesn't want to. Believe it or not, one day the Holy Spirit will arrest that person. Because you've done your job. You've taken it as far as you can. Because you can't force the person. So you've taken that job, that uh, plucking of spirits, from the devil 
to take to God. You've taken it that far and wherever you stop, the Holy Spirit will continue from there. I am telling you, that is the way it works. I know that. And one day you will be shocked that that person that you tried to bring to God will be talking to you about God. What about that? You see? That person will be talking to you about God. Then you will know that, yes, your job is done. You will be happy that your job is done. Don't worry. Take it as far as you can take it without forcing the person, without pushing the person to do it. Then when you stop, hand it over to the Holy Spirit of God because the Holy Spirit of God is there following that person about until the day that it will arrest the person. That person will wake up in the morning and say, today is the day I give my life to God. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior. You see, that person will do that. And then you will be happy that you've done your job. So that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell so that you will get a notification when I upload a new video. If you are the type that doesn't like notification, yes, I know some of us upload videos every day. Not just one. One, two, three, four, five in a day. And you keep getting that uh, 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 notification. Param, param, param. It's annoying. I know. So you don't have to turn on the notification bell, but you can still subscribe. You see, then any day you are free, like the day you don't go to work or any evening you feel like watching my videos, then you can just relax with your glass of wine with cloves in it, you know, with cloves in the wine. You can just relax, sip your glass of wine while you're watching me on your big screen television or small screen television, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop computer, wherever you watch me from. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God Almighty will meet you guys at your point of need. Thank you and have a pleasant, blessed Sunday. Bye.